Today is Wednesday, uh, December 23rd, 2015, and the title of this rant will be Hillary's Numbers Are Looking Very Good. Now we're coming into the Christmas, uh, two days from today, and I don't see any numbers changing in terms of the Democrats for Hillary, Bernie, uh, or O'Malley between now and let's say almost uh, mid-January. So a couple numbers came out from the Quinnipiac poll and a couple other polls earlier uh, this week, late last week. Uh, what it's showing is that Hillary is decisively ahead. Now, this is an endorsement of Hillary. I love Bernie's policies. I love Bernie's attitude. I love Bernie's take no prisoners attitude. I love his staunch defense of the average working American. Unbelievably. Uh, I really, really do, but the numbers aren't there for him right now. So let's just take a quick view. Uh, number one, uh, the overall numbers is Hillary's ahead by about uh, 30 points nationally, 60% to 30%. Um, I believe she's about uh, she's ahead in Iowa and about five points behind in um, North North excuse me New Hampshire. Now after New Hampshire, she's going to have she's going to has killer in um, South Carolina because she's up by about 44 points. Excuse me, not Iowa, South Carolina because she's up by about 44 points in South Carolina. And the big reason for that, or one of the big reasons for that, is that she has the black vote. The national black vote for Hillary uh, over Bernie is like 70% to 20%. It's unbelievable. So she's beating him nationally. Uh, she's beating him uh, with the black vote. She's beating him in Iowa. She's killing him in S South Carolina. Uh, she, the Bernie's ahead in New Hampshire. And then even on two other things, uh, in terrorism, uh, she's ahead again by 30 points. In terms of even people who are liberal or progressive or very liberal, I don't know, what do you call that? Socialist? No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but even people in the Democratic Party who are very liberal, there still is a majority that are there for Hillary Clinton above Bernie Sanders. So Bernie has his work cut out for him. Again, very populist message. I very much approve of his positions. Uh, Hillary has taken some of those positions. I wish she would staunchly move further in that direction. Not only take those positions, but if she really wants to just... I won't use any bad term, but <laughs> uh, if she really wants to go ahead, way ahead, stay ahead, is to even surpass him on those things. You know, uh, by 2020, we need 1750 as the minimum wage, just as an example. Uh, so uh, Hillary is way ahead in all of this. Um, I still want Bernie to run. I still want Bernie to continue pushing her t further to the left. I want to see if, if Bernie does not get the kind of traction, because once you get past South Carolina, uh, it still looks very good for Hillary with the rest of the primaries right after that. And if you want to go back to, oh, well, it's the comparing uh, Hillary and Obama in 2008, let's remember one thing. After um, Obama won Iowa, then all of the black vote coalesced behind Obama, which it hadn't been before. And right now the black vote is way, way, way ahead for Hillary. So things are looking for Hillary. I want Bernie to stay in. I want her to push her to the left. I want her to keep talk. I want him to keep speaking his economic uh, message for the average working American, which is a winning issue for the for um, uh, for the Democrats. Um, and the next two things on that last thing on that would be if Hillary gets the nomination, uh, I want everyone who is feeling the burn to fall in line with Hillary right away. And again, continue, continue to push her to the left. Now, a quick thing about the Republicans now. <laughs> right now, Trump is way ahead. Doesn't look like he's got, I mean, he's got a lock on the nomination if there's no screw ups because everything that he's done to screw up, it's made him look better. Um, but they just announced on the fa that Fox on the next uh, debate, which would be January 14th. Again, we won't see too many numbers coming out between now and then. And Trump is far, far ahead. And if and in the Fox um, debate, there's only going to be six people there. So that means Trump, Rubio, Cruz, Bernie, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Ben Carson <laughs> and uh, Jeb Bush and Chris Christie. So here's here's my thought on that. 
is that uh, they got to they got to get rid of the rid of the weak stuff. That's number one. Uh, number two. Uh, uh, their two mainstream candidates are the ones that are that are polling the lowest, which would be uh, Christie and Jeb. And even though they sort of like Rubio, and I'm, when I say like, and when I say they, I mean the conservative establishment, the corporatists. They don't want Trump. They don't want Cruz. Okay, they can they can take Rubio, but Rubio hasn't been showing up much lately. Not only in the Senate, but not only in New Hampshire and not in Iowa. He hasn't been showing up. So uh, can they revive Jeb and can Christie uh, get some traction? Because he is getting a little bit of traction in New Hampshire. Um, but it sounds to me as if the corporatists in the Republican Party need to get rid of the peripheral stuff and they need to have these people going after uh, Trump and uh, really hammering him and see if any of that can stick. Because really, nothing is sticking right now. And uh, um, Bush... And, and Christie have nothing to lose because they're so far behind.